welcome back to business studies class we have started with the uh, learning staffing process there we have started with manpower planning or hr planning right so there we have understood how many number of people we have how many number of people we need how many number of employees already existing or overburdened and underburdened after knowing all these things we have come to a conclusion that how many number of employees i have to take for my organization i am in need of how many employees right so second step we have seen as recruitment that is nothing but advertising and making uh, let the people know that i have a company have a particular requirement what type of employees they need what they can pay everything details will be uh, advertised to the people and it stimulates them by seeing the facilities what the organization is giving like what the compensation is giving what are the other uh, non monetary benefits the organization is giving by advertising all those things by seeing those advertisements people will get stimulated that they will get motivated to apply for the job so that is what the second step called a uh, recruitment once such motivation it is done people are motivated they start applying for the job so once you start once the employee i mean once the people uh, the qualified people the interested people apply for the job the next step of organization is to select the right person to the right position so for that you have process that we'll see later but as per your staffing process we have seen the selection has to be done that is a right person has to be picked up among the various applicants okay then after selection okay at last you have uh, followed all the selection procedure and you have se selected the number of employees what you need to an organization for example almost 100 or 200 applicants might applied for the job but you need only 50 employees so over that 200 employees you have picked five, uh, 50 employees who are according to your need organization need so now the next step is placement and orientation or it can be called as orientation and placement this is two different activities two different activities done in a single process right two different activities placement is different and orientation is different but these two will be done uh, in a same process two activities in one process we say okay first we'll see what is this orientation okay once you select that particular employee everything is final even that um, that particular applicant up, uh, agreed for all the terms and condition and you have also agreed for that now now you will be taking him as an employee before that before selection he will be just an applicant the one who has applied for the job once selection process is completed you have selected that person he will become the applicant will become your employee of the organization all right once he has become an employee the orientation program will be done orientation in the sense introduction all right so you can see the formal definition in general what is this orientation it is a planned introduction of employees to their jobs to their coworkers and to the organization see it's very essential to every employee when i call an person as an employee only after selection procedure before that he is just an applicant all right so orientation is a program a activity where the employee should be familiarized with the organization and the organization it means all the workers existing workers should know who is he to which post he is appointed what are his authorities and responsibilities okay so orientation is an activity or a program where employee is introduced to the organization and organization is introduced to the uh, employee say i'll tell you one thing for example i have joined as a lecturer in a particular college okay so but i don't have any basic information of the college like uh, uh, when it has been established what is the objective of the organization or that college who is a main authority of that how many member of people Or how many employees are working there so i don't know any of this then what happens i will be failed to say about my organization if someone asks me and even i'll be failing if i don't know the policies objectives of the organization i may not able to achieve my goals that is i may not able to work to an organization it does not mean only i have to undertake and uh, undertake the particular task i have to know overall goal of my organization for what my organization is established okay what with what purpose they have appointed me this is the basic information the employee should know about the organization 
similarly there will be almost co uh, almost employees who are existing so even to them this new person has to be introduced because the existing worker should know for what he is responsible the new person who has entered into the job he should be the other employees the existing employee should know uh, what is his authority what is his responsibility what is the, what is his position okay so all these things will be done in a activity in a uh, program or an activity called orientation so in simple we say orientation is an introduction program where the employee will come to know the organization policies rules regulations and about the existing employees similarly the existing employees will come to know about the new person new employee who is appointed through the selection process so in simple this can be your in this can be your meaning right so it can be asked for one or two marks so it should be very clear the activity in that process is placement as you can see the general meaning here placement may be defined as the determination of the job to which an accepted candidate is to be assigned and his assignment to that job so placement is an activity to place an employee who is selected to that in uh, in the particular structure of an organization we know that when we have formed organization that is maybe functional or divisional we have prepared different uh, like uh, stages positions we have prepared like we have prepared board of directors then we have prepared md managing director we have prepared general managers then general manager that manager then deputy general manager under him we allotted supervisors inspector like this we have formed the organization structure through staffing what we are doing we are selecting the right people and we are just keeping in that particular position that is what you are staffing so placement is a process or it is an activity where i i select a person to the particular position and i make him to understand the position okay so placement is just determining the job to him okay it means allotting a particular position to him where he can know his responsibilities and authorities so it's simple so first you make him to understand what is his position in the organization then the orientation program will be conducted that is he should know about the organization rules and regulations policies objectives and all then the organization that means the existing employee should understand the particular employee so this is what your pro step called orientation and placement or it can be like placement and orientation the next is training and development the most important thing training and development here we understand once the employee is placed in that particular position in the organizational structure then the process of training and development starts here you have the meaning of training like training is a process through which a person enhances and develops his efficiency capacity and effectiveness at work by improving and updating his knowledge and understanding the skills relevant to his job or her job say for example you have selected a employee and you have made to occupy a particular position in your organization structure now depending upon the need of that particular position that particular uh, place uh, in the organization structure you want to train your employee the employee who you selected might be fresher who might be studied who might be having relevant qualification may not be the experience though he has a experience it might be somewhat different from your organizational need then what happens it is the responsibility of the organization to give him training to provide him training what is this training in order to update his efficiency capacity effectiveness some information some skills has to be learned by him okay so that has to be provided by whom the organization it means the organization should give him training in order to know how to how to use his talent towards the organization because different organizations will be working with the different uh, thing like it the technology might be different the process might be different so the new employee to your organization with or without experience should adjust should know what is the actual process what you are following in the organization in order to catch that and in order to fulfill that and in order to follow that procedure generally he needs training so training is given to that employee to adjust with that to go with that to uh, make himself move with the 
process of the organization the adopted skills of the organization so i might be i might be experienced person i might be having right qualification but when i am new to your organization a particular organization i have to learn so many things in the organization in order to learn the skills what i need to perform my job present job is called your training you can see a simple formula why this training is needed in order to match the standard performance so the standard performance will be something but the actual performance will be something so there will be somewhat difference in order to meet your standard performance the requirement of the organization the training is needed simple training is a process by which a particular employee will gain knowledge which is useful for his present job right then we have another term called uh, sorry you have a definition of training here according to edwin flipo he says the act of increasing the knowledge and skill of an employee for doing a particular job see he has appointed for a particular job for a particular position so in order to fulfill his as responsibilities he should have some more knowledge some effectiveness and efficiency that will be learned through what the training provided by the organization okay in order to do his particular job then we have another term called development so we have seen training and development in a, a particular step okay so training in the sense uh, making an employee that is a new person to equip with more efficiency to adjust with the present job okay then your development what is this development in simple i'll tell you later we'll go with the exact meaning what is given here development in the sense giving some what information education everything to the employee which is not only helpful for the present job but also for the future purpose for example if i tell you only how to study your six subjects how to score only second puc marks and out of out it will be your training but i teach you something which will be helpful overall for your education it will be helpful for your degree courses also it will be helpful for your uh, employee when you become an employee when you are uh, when you are ready to work even that time if it, if my things what i teach what i make you learn will be helpful then i say that is a development okay that is a development program but the training program is one which is useful only for the particular job for example now you are in second puc so if someone says you to learn second puc subjects how has to how he has to learn how he has to present how your evaluation uh, generally evaluation will be if someone teaches all these things and if someone gives you knowledge about all those things that we call it as development Pro, sorry training program if someone gives you knowledge uh, somewhat uh, all the skills to which will be helpful for you for overall your life then we call it as a development program that is a slight difference between your training and development here you can see employee development is defined as a process where the employee with the support of his employer undergoes various training programs to enhance his skills to acquire new knowledge skills benefit for the employee development see for example if someone teaches you how to manage your time how you have to manage see for example all will have only 24 hours per day okay so how i have to manage time if someone teaches you that it is not only helpful for your second puc it will be helpful for your lifetime so that we call it as a development program so it is also a part of training program but exactly what is this training is which will be helpful only for your particular job but development in the sense which will be helpful for the development of that particular person employee which can take him to the higher positions right so in this class you have seen what is placement and orientation and training and development here i want to summarize like what is this placement making an employee to occupy a particular position in the organizational structure is called your placement and introducing the organization rules objectives and all to him and making him uh, know the employees the existing employees and also the existing employee should know him all this called your orientation then once that employee is allotted a particular position and introduced to the organization then 
uh, he has to be uh, uh, familiar with his job what job for what he has appointed for that purpose you start giving him some education you start giving him uh, making him to learn some skills to so that he can be uh, attached with the job that is he can freely do his job which uh, for which he is newly appointed that is what you are training so once you once the training is given you even later periods also you are giving him more knowledge which helps him to acquire more effectiveness more skills which are not only useful for his present job for his overall professional life then we call it as a development program okay so go with the notes also we have again in training we have different types of training like on the job training off the job training what are the benefits of training okay all these things we will be learning again a particular concept called training but when the staffing process is asked this much is this much is enough you have to write uh, only the meanings of that that will be enough to score eight marks okay go with the notes and compare the explanation with the notes uh, anywhere if you come across any doubts you can please uh, make it clarify hope you do so till we meet in our next class take care bye bye